smart. Well, they'll look at you funny if you call them uh, city slickers. It's Late Night with David Letterman. Tonight, drummer David Van Tegan, millionaire publisher of Forbes magazine, Malcolm Forbes, and sportscaster, Marv Albert. Also, video games. And now, a man who's a walking TV show, just looking for a place to happen, Dave. Now, let me ask you folks another question. Our next guest, David Van Tegum, could we call him a musician? Oh, yeah! Well, there you go. He's, uh, he's a, a, a very interesting musician, and he's going to put on a, uh, a fascinating little demonstration. Did you see any of this in rehearsal, Paul? Yes, I did. It was neat, wasn't it? I don't want to give anything away. Yeah, okay, but stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned, it'll be good. And a... Thanks, Paul. Thank you very much, folks. We have a, a nice program for you tonight. My first guest is a percussionist. He has performed with Laurie Anderson, also Talking Heads. They have been on this program, Robert Gordon, and uh, his own Love of Life Orchestra. Here is some of the footage from a film called Ear to the Ground in which this man plays some rather unlikely objects. Take a look at this. to have him here with us tonight. Please welcome David Van Tegum. Nice to see you, sir. David, tell us what we uh, just saw there. What is, uh, what is that from? Where, how do you use it? Uh, how did uh, it happen? Well, it's, a, it's an excerpt from a four-minute uh, videotape that uh, I made with a uh, New York video artist named John Sanborn. Uh, we had been collaborating trying to uh, interface percussion and music and video and uh, uh, as a percussionist I collect a lot of instruments and yeah. uh, those are all that tape is about all the sounds that I wasn't able to pick up off the street and take home with me and bring out onto a stage. At, at what uh, point in your career did you start using strange things uh, as opposed to more traditional uh, equipment? Uh, I guess in high school uh, when I started studying with uh, this percussion teacher, Justin DiCiocio, and he uh, made me aware of some of the percussion ensemble music and the music of John Cage and Harry Parch. Uh -huh. but, but how many of those things are actually, uh, can be used as instruments, and, and how many of them would, could be considered gimmicks, you know? Um, there is a fine line, and I kind of, I kind of like to, to tread a little bit on that line, actually. Uh -huh. um, because sometimes I might uh, play something, but you might not hear it, but I'm still there's still movement involved. In yeah. That. Let me let me read a couple of things off this list, and you tell me which side of the line we're on here. Uh, uh, metal lamp parts, clamshells, wrist bells, frying pan, uh, automobile transmission housings. Yeah, they're uh, big pieces of metal like this, and they sound like big uh, bells, like church bells. Uh -huh. Now, do these fit in uh, the context of a piece, or is this just something odd to throw in there? Uh, well, the my work is my solo work is based around all these things mm -hmm. that it's in, in a sense the objects and the instruments tell me what to do with them <laughs> automobile brake drums pink elephant drummer oh yeah. that's a little wind that's up a, though, isn't or it? a battery upgrade. okay alka seltzer chromatic tube drums carbonated candy what is carbonated candy? well i don't make that anymore but there was this stuff uh it was uh this hard candy that you put in your mouth and it oh, fizzed. Would, yeah, it fizzed and choked yeah. you to death. Okay, well, we're, we're going to hear you perform here tonight. All right, let's, uh, let's go away for a uh, commercial, and we'll be right back. Uh, David Van Tegan will be here. Promise. What, what are you playing there? What is that assortment called, David? This? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't really have a name for the whole... Okay, well, here's a, an assortment of stuff we have no name for being played by Mr. David Van Tegum. David? Thank <laughs> you. 
show coming up uh, later you're going to meet malcolm forbes and uh who else is here what have i done i've misplaced some important documents and uh, who david winfield no that was oh no that's right marv marv albert will be here sure uh i was just thinking that uh, david van tegan must be a very popular fellow um tomorrow night on this show 